Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you all about fluid simulations and how to work them and all of the options. And it's going to be fun. A lot of people have been suggesting that I do another fluid simulation because uh, about a year ago I did one and a lot of people have been asking for me to do another one because it's outdated or something like that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing, I have a bunch of Blender um, files open right now. And so this right here is a fluid simulation that I did, and I'll show you everything. So this right here is the fluid, and these are obstacles. And actually, let's go into a new Blender project, and I'll show you. Okay, so this cube right here is going to be our domain. And the first thing that we need to do is go into edit mode and bring it up by pressing G, Z, holding down control, and it will snap it to there. And why I did this is because the origin is at the bottom. Also, I should probably turn on my screencast keys. There we go. Uh, the origin is at the bottom, so if we scale it or something, it will go up and not down. All right, so scale it up and then bring it along the X just a little bit, right about there. And this is gonna be our domain, and I'll show you all the options. So let's go to here, fluid and domain. And your domain is where the fluid is gonna be. So you can have this as big as you want or as small as you want. If you wanna have a fluid just in this little box and it can't go out, then you would do it to here. But if you want it, like it can go anywhere, then you would scale it up really big, okay? And so that's our um, domain. And you can put whatever you want in here. Let's put in a uh, let's put in a monkey head and bring it up. And this is going to be our fluid. And so if we go to fluid and set it to right here fluid, that if we uh, bake it and stuff, this will just be a fluid and it will drop down and splash all over. Okay. But I want to show you all the options because so, if you look right here, there's a bunch of these, and I'll show you what each one of these does. Okay. So the first one, control, let me go find it, is it, it's this one right here. The control, it's, I had to, <laughs> I had to search a little bit on what to do and try to figure out what the control does, but it's pretty easy. Let me just play this for you. This is what the control does. As you can see right there, it's a monkey head, and then it drops down. So let me unhide it. This is our fluid right here. We can hide that actually. This is our monkey head. So if we set it to control and um, we play it, let's play it one more time. It, the fluid kind of wraps around it and then it drops down. I don't know everything about the control, but I know a little bit. And these options right here, uh, this quality, that I think is just the quality of how, like, how good it looks. And the end and start, the start is where like if you press play, uh, the fluid will go around it right at the beginning. Or if you go to like let's say uh, 0.5 or something, after the fluid has gone down at 0.5, I'm not sure if this is seconds or not, but it will then wrap around uh, this monkey head once uh, this time has passed. And then it will end as you can see, let me play it one more time, it will end and the fluid will drop down right about there. It will drop down once this one or however this time is. And then the strength, the strength of this is how fast uh, the water will wrap around the object, I think. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not totally sure what these do, but you can play around with them, but that's what the control does. You can do a lot of cool stuff. Maybe if you have a character, you can have them like pull something out of the water. There's a couple of animations that I've seen do that, but that's what the control does. So now let's move on to um, outflow. Outflow is this one right here. Oh wait, this one. Okay, so the outflow is pretty uh, self-explanatory. It takes away uh, fluid. So I just created a simple basic one right here. So if we uh, play this, it just goes in and it deletes the, the fluid. Very simple and not that hard to understand. And then this is just a regular uh, fluid and it just goes down and it deletes it. Very self-explanatory. Now this one is uh, the, just the regular fluid right here. And if we play it, it will drop and then do this. And these right here, these are obstacles. So if you set this to an obstacle, you don't really have to do anything with these uh, options, but it will just act like an obstacle and the fluid will go around it. And I set two uh, spheres down there and they'll go up. And as you can see, these are obstacles as well and they hit the fluid and they fly everywhere. 
just like that. Sorry, my computer's running a bit slow with all the particles. And so let's play that one more time. If we play, it hits down, it hits that cone, and it just goes around, and then the spheres come up and throw all the water, just like that. Okay, and the next one, let's see here. This one right here is the inflow. Uh, you can set anything to an inflow. It can be a monkey head, a cube, whatever, and that will emit fluid from that. Okay, so let me play this. As you can see, it's never-ending fluid. It, ju it just keeps going and it's filling this up. And these right here are uh, obstacles, as you can see. Right there, and it just keeps filling it up until the fluid is done. It will go all the way to the top if you set it that long. But that's what the inflow does. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you can, um, let me click on this. You can set the velocity. You can uh, have it go as, like, super fast. Uh, the other day I set it to four and it just shot out. And right now, three, it's going pretty fast. So I would recommend, like, uh, it just depends on your project, actually. I can't really recommend a thing or um, a number. But that's what the inflow does, and these are set to obstacles. And now let's go back to our original scene. Oh, wait, not that one. Uh, where is our scene? This one right here. This is our scene. And let's go into the domain. There's a bunch of options. The domain is the most important uh, the thing, the most important thing. So the resolution, uh, the higher you set this to, let's just say 100, the higher it's going to take to bake. As you can see, the memory is uh, 27 megabits. Um, and if you set this to 200, it, get, it, get, it keeps getting higher. So if you want to just test out to see how it looks, I would recommend just 100 or like 80 or something like that. Let's go with 80 and then the preview that I'm going to set to 80 as well. Um, you can set this to anything higher and the preview, there are two different things. This is what it's going to look like in the rendered view and this is what it's going to look like in um, the solid view in our, in our right now, in our view right now. And you can set the, the ending, the start, all that, whatever. Uh, let's go down here. I don't know anything about the fluid world very much. Um, you can reverse the frames. Yeah, the speed, it for default, the fluid simulation is actually pretty fast, so I like to go half speed. So let's just set that to 0.5. The boundary, the particle slip is, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Subdivisions, I think this is for particles. Um, free slip, you can do that. Subdivisions, you can bring that up. And then the tracer particles, these I'm not sure about. I still have to, um, I still have to look that up. Yeah, I'm not sure what the particles do. I was just uh, showing you all the basic ones. Um, I was looking up a little bit about the particles, but it's kind of hard to understand. So that's like the basics of all of the fluid, and it's pretty easy. You can do a bunch of things. So let's bake this real quick and just see how it looks. This will just fall down. Actually, let's add an obstacle real quick. Let's add in an obstacle. Let's put that like right here. So once this falls, it's going to hit this. So click fluid object or uh, type obstacle and that will hit it. Let's go the particle slip. Um, I want to bring this up really high because some of the time as you can see in the which one is it? This one a lot of our fluid is still stuck on the sphere and I set it to even 0.8 but it's still stuck on it so let's set it actually higher. Let's go 100 or 1. Okay and let's also add a inflow so I can just show you guys what to do let's add in a circle let's put it over in this corner and fluid type inflow and that will just shoot it out this way and for the X let's just go one and I think that will just shoot it out and it won't go straight down and I think that's it yeah it looks pretty good so now let's bake this and just see how it looks Okay, it is about to be done and 100%. All right, let's uh, go back and let's see how it looks. Boom, and as you can see, it hit that, and this is kind of just slipping around. And I don't know why this is not going. Not sure. Um, that's weird. I just thought that. Oh, I know why. It's because uh, it's just a circle and there's no there's no mesh in the middle. That that's the reason. Hold on. Um, go back and rebake that. 
<laughs> that's the reason why it did not shoot out is because there was no face right there <laughs> all right I'll be right back okay it is done and let's see what it looks like let's go back and play it and there we go at nice that's look at that there's our fluid simulation and you can add a material to it and once you've uh, baked it you don't need to have this thing anymore so you can just go into here and hide it right there hide it from the render and then play it that looks pretty good and this is just uh, flowing into there nice nice let's play it one more time boom it's always fun messing around with fluid simulations in blender but there you go there's like the basic overview of fluid simulations and you can also uh, add a smooth uh, shader to that and so there we go that looks pretty cool so there you go there's the basics and go make some cool fluid simulations and tell me in the comments what you make and you can show me maybe post it on blender artist or something like that I would love to see what you guys make out of this so go have fun explore all these settings and yeah alright have a great day bye